Well, the Sedona and the Baron, they're finished. And uh, I'm going to start another series. It's going to be sort of a short series. Even though I'm going to be making several of these uh, pen kits, I'll only show one. And I'm going to do the slimline, uh, matching uh, pencil pen set. And on some of them, they're going to have different clips. And uh, the uh, slimline is probably the most common in the world. It comes in all kinds of varieties, and yet it's all it all looks the same. It's all nice and slim. Some people prefer this uh, kit. Uh, for writing over and above any other kit because they find it so easy to hold on to. It's almost like a standard lead pencil. Uh, anyway, it takes a 7 millimeter bit. The brass tubes look like this. They're quite small. They, uh, the bushings, there's no shoulder on the bushings that they, they fit onto. The bushing just fits directly onto the mandrel. I don't know why I'm telling you this. Probably most of you know, but just in case there's somebody watching these videos that uh, you know, they've never turned a pen. It's a it's a it's an easy kit to turn and yet it's a hard kit to turn because you have to be careful when you're turning it down. As you can see there's not a whole lot of distance here from from the bushing to the brass tube. So I tend to go a little bit maybe too round when I'm when I'm doing it to avoid actually accidentally going right down into the brass tube. Um, I don't think I've ever done that but I can see where a person could. Anyway, um, I got a bunch of uh, olive wood. It actually came last week, but I haven't opened it yet. And so let's let's open this up, and uh, I will take a look and see what William Woodwright sent me here. Everybody likes a box opening video. What could it be? Okay, we got certificates of uh, authenticity. Here's a sample of holly. Okay, that's interesting. Well, as you can see, I've got lots of olive wood blanks there. Genuine olive wood. Some of these are going to look pretty nice. Look at the grain in that. So I guess tomorrow we'll get some of that beautiful wood cut to length, get the holes drilled up through them, and the brass tubes glued in. Well, we'll see how far we get.